Okay, so me and Mrs. Chefs checked into our soundproof cottage in the middle of absolute nowhere this week. Uh, this looks interesting. Should be fun. We, we are in the middle of nowhereville. But they had Wi Fi, so I was like, that's good. You don't have to do any housework. That's right, no housework this week. So it looks like this will be the indoor kitchen stadium this week. And we got some outdoor cooking uh, accessories as well, so we'll check that out. So when you guys go glamping with the chef, you're going to have every damn thing you could possibly imagine you might need. I mean, look at all these snacks. It's just a snack table here we've dressed up since we got here. And over here, of course, I bring plenty of seasons all. I got some creole, some lemon pepper, some liquid smoke, salt and pepper, and seasoned salt, and whatever we might need. Some extra regular uh, sea salt here. Potatoes, I bring plenty of storage bags and some tape. You never know when you might need to tape Mr. Chef up to the bed or something. And then uh, fresh corn, some flour. We're gonna make a few things. I'll get into that in here in a second. I got some more stuff here, some onion powder, garlic powder, some, all that stuff. So when you're renting a place that you don't know, you know, what the people have actually done here before you, I always bring my own paper plates, my own plasticware, my own Utensils. The only thing I forgot was a tongs. So I was talking about them. Um, anyway, I bring all my own stuff. That way I ain't got to use anything that's questionable. Here's some dehydrated potato hash browns. We're going to hydrate them in the morning and make hash browns. Brought some of the cornbread I had left from the peas. So tonight's meal, we're going to use some Hormel baby back ribs. I don't have a smoker here, but I do have a grill outside. So we're going to do these a little unconventionally, but conventionally. And of course, I brought way too much stuff. Uh, a couple of coolers full of stuff, so got plenty of things. So I got to have a pickle because I might decide to have a pickle party. Uh, I got bacon this time. Cause remember when I went to, uh, if you look back in those videos, when I went up to Arkansas, I came ill prepared. I made sure I was prepared this time. I got uh, these here, uh, steak fingers. We're going to make steak fingers one night. Um, all kinds of stuff, so breakfast dinner and we might try to find a little place to pick up a sandwich or something out here we're in the middle of nowhere so i'm not sure where but we'll figure that part out so first thing we put on there is a little of this uh blackening season here next up we're gonna put a little garlic on here granulated garlic i'm gonna do both sides i'm gonna show you one side and then uh put the camera down and do the other side put a little bit of granulated sugar over it so Here we got a little liquid smoke. Salt, sea salt. Yeah, we're gonna turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. So there we go. Get them all seasoned up. Let them uh, sit there and marinate. Let's go get a fire going here on the grill. Okay, so when you're building a fire, I'm sitting unconventionally inside there because usually I smoke ribs, but I got uh, mesquite chunks here and I built a pyramid in here and leave air gaps in between. A few native sticks from around here to get the fire started. Anyway, once we get the fire started, you can then break these down, push these down and even them out to grill your ribs. So it's pretty cool over here. You got your own little outdoor area. It's a little too warm for a fire, but not too warm for a grill. So with this spread of coals out there, it's time to throw these ribs on. I mean, damn, that smells delicious. It's too bad we ain't got any neighbors here for probably a hundred miles where we are. You can smell this shit. So this here is just a way to get that nice smoke, mesquite smoke flavor in there. And then we're going to take this inside. That's why I said unconventional, because we're going to get some smoke on it. There's no way to cook these all the way through without a closed top. You need to bake the inside so it gets nice and uh, where they fall off the bone. I mean, you can eat them like that. They'll be tough as hell. 
but uh, I'm going to put them in the conventional oven and finish them off inside. So, unconventionally, I went ahead and sauce these because I want to get a glaze on them. And by the time they come out of the oven, it's going to take about an hour in the oven, and this coals will be gone. So, I'm going to glaze it now. Wrap it in full, put it in the oven. I'll show you the final product. My guarantee one thing, it's definitely a good idea to go glamping, but you got an air-conditioned cabin to go into when it's July in Texas, I promise you. You do not want to go camping, camping in July, August in Texas. So the lighting in here is terrible, but uh, these look delicious. We're gonna wrap these up in foil here. Throw them off in the oven for about an hour. Let them get tender and uh, make a few sides and eat some dinner. There we go, we got some AC now. Ooh, it is hot today, I guarantee. Anyway, we're gonna be out here exploring around this area of East Texas. Now supposedly there's a lot of uh, old steels out here and there's a big area for moonshiners because there's a lot of uh, uh, natural springs out here that was perfect for making moonshine so we'll go see what we can find well them ribs are almost ready so we'll go ahead and start some sides here I just got some uh, salt pepper butter on these green beans super simple keeping it real easy simple you know, this is a skillet from home, like I said, and I brought a pot from home. They got stuff here, but like I said, I don't know what people have been doing to these things. So let's use stuff we know that's good, clean, and doesn't have no shit on it. Other side here is going to be some regular old Kraft macaroni and cheese, straight up. Easy meal. The prize is in those ribs. Okay, so just popped them out of the oven. I can see the bone popping through there. That means these are gonna be fall off the bone rib. Looking pretty good, smelling pretty good. So I just cut that in half there. These are fall off the bone rib. I mean, look at that. Look at that, man. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, folks. I'm ready to dig in. We've been eating all day, so this is going to be a good meal. Got a full plate full. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. We we got some storms moving in. It'll be storming here in about 15 minutes. Let's check the weather. Well, my perfect fire came together right in between the intermittent showers here. It's a beautiful fire. It's all about getting the right ventilation. <laughs> Comes the rain again? No, no. We got the water. It's definitely lightning a lot. I think it's coming back. Pretty crazy, it started raining and my fire took off. I mean, damn, Reese's cups used to be like yay big. What the hell happened?